This red seaweed will be a yummy treat at the seaweed feast this year. Let's go check in with the captain. Chairs, check. Napkins, check. Now, what about the menu? It's all organised, sir. We have red seaweed soup, followed by red seaweed stew, red seaweed sausages, and your favourite, red seaweed on a stick. Super, super! Sounds like a lot of lovely seaweed, Shellington. Good job. Thank you, sir. Vegemals, off to the kitchen to get everything ready for tomorrow. <laughs> Peso, you're in charge of entertainment. All taken care of, Captain. Xylophone music. I've been practising. Oh, bravo, Peso. That just leaves the question of where to have the feast. Since we're stationed near the Galapagos Islands, how about having it on the nearest island? Good idea, Dashy. But I want to make sure we don't disturb any of the animals there. Oh, no worries, sir. There's just a bunch of rocks and these iguanas. I think we can stay out of their way. Ted? Yeah. Sneezy? Everything! Iggy? Iggy! Oh. Right, that's me. <clears throat> OK, boys, now remember, we're marine iguanas. And what's the one thing we do better than any other iguana in the world? Ooh, 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 uh, walk on tippy toes. No! We're the only iguanas who dive in the ocean for food. And what do we love to eat more than anything? Seaweed! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, we eat seaweed. And today, I found a giant clump of fat, juicy, red seaweed. Just waiting to be eaten. Cool, you did. Right down there. It's growing in some kind of big orange thingy, but I guess that's just how it grows. So, how about it, boys? Let's do lunch. Yeah! OK, prepare to die. Ready, get set, roll out! This way, boys. Captain, somebody's broken into the octopod. And they're heading to the garden. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the garden pod. <gasps> Our seaweed. It's gone. Who could have taken it? Hmm. Whoever it was must have left some clues. <gasps> yes, some strange claw prints. And over here, it looks like slimy salt. Yuck. And long, wet tail tracks. They seem to lead to this vent. It looks like they came in from there, took the seaweed and left. What about the seaweed feast tomorrow? We still have some seaweed left in the kitchen. We should be fine for the feast. Phew! That's great news, but just to make sure nothing happens to it... Oh, guard it, Captain. Those scurvy seaweed snatchers won't get past me. Mmm, boy, that was some good eating. Yes, it certainly was. I don't know about you fellas, but I'm getting hungry again just thinking about it. <sighs> Who's up for a snack? Yes! Oh, no. 
me. <laughs> we need backup. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, let's get out of here. Quick, open the octa hatch. Octonauts, let's follow them. Follow who, Captain? We don't even know what these seaweed snatchers look like. All we saw was a tail. Hmm, let's just think this through. What do we know about them? Well, there must have been a few of them, because we saw a lot of footprints. Aye, right, and don't forget all that slimy salt on the floor. Hmm, and the long, scaly tail. Just like the iguanas in Dash's pictures. Well, but they can't be iguanas. Iguanas don't swim in the ocean, do they? Wait a minute! Iguanas? Galapagos Islands? Missing seaweed? Of course! Marine iguanas! Marine iguanas? Yes, marine iguanas are a special kind of iguana who only live in the Galapagos Islands. They're also the only kind of iguanas who can swim and their favourite food is seaweed. But what about the salt? The seaweed they eat is very salty, so they sneeze out the extra salt. <laughs> Good job, Shellington. At least now we know who we're after. And there they be! Let's get those marine iguanas and find out what they've done with our seaweed. Octonauts, hold on. Yikes! Some blue thingy came out of the big orange thingy and now it's coming after us. We've got to get out of here, fast! Yeah. <laughs> it's getting close up. They're trying to lose us in the seaweed. Hang on, we're going in. This way, the seaweed's thicker over here. They'll never make it through. Turn off the propeller, Quasi. We don't want to get stuck. Hold on, we're going down. It's no good. We're stuck. We can't get out. See? Nobody gets through seaweed like an iguana. Didn't you hear them, guys? I think we should help. The hatch is stuck. We're trapped. Hmm. The marine iguanas aren't swimming away. And they do like seaweed. I have an idea. Um, excuse me, marine iguanas, are you still hungry? Huh? How would you like a nice, big, juicy seaweed snack? Lovely. Wow, look at them eat. You've been a great help. Yeah, thanks. But what'd you do with our red seaweed? <coughs> Sorry. We ate it. That's what I was afraid of. We didn't know it was yours, honest. We thought it just grew in that big orange thingy. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Then that's it. If the red seaweed's gone, then we can have no seaweed feast. Oh, listen. There's a lot of seaweed that grows right around the island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we've got brown seaweed, green seaweed. Maybe not as good as the red seaweed, but still pretty good. Come on. We'll show you where the good stuff is. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff, yeah. <laughs> Octonauts, the seaweed feast is back on. And this year, we'll have some very special guests. Ah, this seaweed needs a little salt. Oh, oh let me help. Yes, I, I, I feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> That's okay, matey. I'll just use the salt shaker. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating. This kind of coral only grows in the water close to the beach. What a nice colour and... Oh! Shock! Sorry, dude. 
It's a lemon shark. That was so totally my fault. Really sorry. Bye. Ouch! Oh, I hit my nose again. Let me see that. My name's Peso. I'm a medic. I help any sea creature who's hurt, no matter what. I'm Lemmy. I could use some help. <sighs> Your nose is pretty bruised. Do you live around here? Yeah, think so. Maybe. Uh, actually, I don't know. I'm kind of lost. I've been looking everywhere for my lagoon. It's a beautiful place with shallow water near the beach. Is that where you live? Yeah, all of us lemon sharks hang out there. I've never had any problem finding my way home before. I just don't know why I keep getting lost. Lemmy, like all sharks, uses his nose to find his way around. He has special sensors that help him know which way to go. The sensors on your nose are hurt, so it isn't working right now. And that's why I keep getting lost. My nose doesn't know where to go. But how do I fix it? Our ship, the Octopod, has a sick bay. I could put some medicine on your nose there, bandage it up, and make it as good as new. Dude, you're the best. Let's go. Right this way. Don't worry, Lemmy. Once your nose is all better, you won't bump into things anymore. <coughs> Thanks. OK, Lemmy. First, you need a little medicine on your nose. <laughs> that tickles. Second, you need a bandage. Whoa, thanks. So, is that it? Can I go home now? You need to wait a little while for your nose to heal. If you go right now, you'll still get lost and bump into things. Oh, OK. But do I have to wait in here? I like it better outside. Only if you stay right outside the octopod. I'll hang out right here. And I'll be back to check on you later. Cool! Captain. I've bandaged up Lemmy's nose. As soon as it's better, he'll be able to find his way around again. Good work, Peso. Now, show me how you bandage a nose. <sighs> I'm bored. There's not much to do out here. Wouldn't hurt just to leave for a minute, and then I'll totally come right back. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll check on Lemmy. Oh, no. Where did he go? He's swimming away in a crazy zigzag pattern, really fast. Flappity flippers. He can't tell where he's going. Captain, he could get hurt. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a young lemon shark out there whose nose isn't working. He could get lost or hurt if we don't catch up with him right away. Peso, Quasi, into the guppe. Right here. Aye, aye, in... cat. <laughs> ah, there he is. It is a fast one, that's for sure. Heading that way. Oops, sorry. Yeah, watch out. Where's that speedy lemon shark going now? Uh oh, he's swimming towards the beach. Ah, oh, there's Lemmy now. Oh, no. He's stuck on the beach. He needs to be in the water to breathe. Help! Someone help me! Hang on, Lemmy. We're coming to save you. I swam too close to the beach. Octonauts, let's do this. One, two, three, lift! Yeah, yeah. Oh, this little fella's heavy. I'm sorry. 
I should have listened to you, Peso. At least you're all right. That's what matters. I'll stay in the octopod. Tell me those is all better. Then let's all head back to the octopod. And please stay close to the gup. Hope you've been comfortable in the launch bay, Lenny. Yes, thanks. And my nose is feeling much better. That's great news. I think today we can remove your bandages. And I can go home. Right, Peso? That's right. I'm going to miss you, Lenny. Oh, mate, so maybe you can visit the lagoon sometime and meet my friends. Shellington to Peso. Come in, Peso. Peso here, Shellington. There's a hurt sea star inside an underwater cave. We need your help right away. Yeah. I'll be right there. I'll have the guppy ready in a jiffy. I'll wait to go home till you get back, Peso. I'd like you to come with me and meet my friends. I'll be back as soon as I help this sea star. New. Watch out for that hot steam! There must be lava under these rocks! Ah! Shellington! I'm trapped! Octopod, please come in! It's Shellington! Barnacle's here. What's up, Shellington? Peso is trapped in this cave! Please send help! Help is on the way, Shellington. <laughs> Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. <gasps> What's going on? Is Peso in trouble? Aye, matey. But don't you worry. We're off to rescue him now. <laughs> Quasi, this isn't just a cave. It's a cave with hot lava under the rocks. Ouch! That means this cave could fill up with hot bubbles and steam any second. We've got to get Peso and the herd starfish out of there now. Octonauts! In here! <gasps> Captain! Over here! Peso, don't move! Yeah. How do we get him out? We need to be fast enough to get past those hot bubbles. Peso! Lemmy! Captain, I've got to help Peso. Lemon sharks are one of the fastest sharks in the sea. And I know I'm fast enough to get past those hot bubbles. You're right there, matey. You're faster than any of us. What about your sense of direction? My nose is all better. Trust me. All right, Lemmy. Go in to the left. Now to the right. Now wait! Go! Whoa! That was exciting! Good work, Lemmy. You're as brave as any octonaut. Absolutely. Thanks for saving me and the Sea Star. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> We're friends, Peso! Peso, it's time to take Lemmy home to his lagoon. Follow me! My nose knows where to go! Well, here's my lagoon! Goodbye, Lemmy. Here's a sticker for being my bravest patient ever. Oh, thanks, Peso! Put it right on my nose, dude! <laughs> The Octonaut and the Decorator Crab.
astronauts, hold on. Something is about to hit us. Dashi! Peso! Shellington! Inkling! Vegemals! Brace yourselves! What? Yeah. You hear that? It's coming from outside the octopod. <laughs> Uh, the screen is blank. We've lost the radar. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Captain, what's going on? The radar isn't working. Tweak, Quasi, let's go outside and work out what's happened. The dish must be broken. I'll have it fixed faster and you can save a bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Peso, open the octo hatch. Yes, right away, Captain. The radar dish isn't broken. It's gone. A thief must have stolen it. We have to get it back. I reckon that scurvy thief is around here somewhere. I'll find him with me spyglass. Seaweed! Yeah! Oh, now I can't see a thing! Here, use my binoculars to look for anything unusual. Aye, Captain. Twig, come with me. We'll search the other side of the octopod. Coming, we'll never be able to catch him. So we'll have to make sure he doesn't see us coming. We're going after the thief, but we don't want him to be able to see the Gulf A. How can you help us, Tweak? I've got just the thing. Camouflage. Push that button, Captain. Oh! Camouflage helps the gup look like the rest of the ocean, so no one will see you. We'll look just like the rocks and the seaweed. And if you need even more camouflage, press that. Understood. Thanks, Tweak. Quasi and Peso, prepare to launch. Captain, I'm fully prepared for any emergency. Yeah. Tweak, open the octahash. Right away, Cap. The trail disappears under that rock. Let's keep a lookout. The thief has to be around here somewhere. Whoa! That plant just took a walk. Over there. Look! Follow that plant! He's got my spyglass! Up ahead! Where did it go? Octonauts, let's investigate. Quasi. You go this way. Peso, you check that way. An injured anemone. Oh, let me bandage that for you. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. 
good as new. Oh no, my bandages. What is it, Peso? Those are special bandages for wrapping tentacles. I've got to get them back. The thief strikes again. But we're not giving up. The spyglass, the radar dish, and the bandages. Look! I don't see anything. On the rock. <gasps> but I know I saw them. How could they just disappear? Captain, there's only one explanation. This place is haunted by a ghost pirate. A ghost pirate can make himself and anything he steals invisible. He sneaks up on you, just like... Meow! Just like that. Uh, Quasi, I'm not sure we're dealing with a ghost pirate. A lot of things have, you know, disappeared. And every time we chase after the thief, he vanishes. Whatever it is, instead of us chasing him, let's make him come to us. We'll put something out for the thief to steal. When he comes near us, the alarm will sound, and then... We'll get him! How about this? Perfect. <laughs> Now we wait. Captain, are you sure he won't see us? Good question, Peso. Time for extra camouflage. Steal that seaweed moustache from under our noses. Ha! We found the thief! Here he is under all our equipment! Now, uh, oh! <laughs> Easy there, fella. Just return the things that you stole from us. That's all we ask. I didn't steal anything. Then how do you explain the fact that our equipment is attached to your shell? I'm a decorator crab. A decorator crab? Yeah, a decorator crab. I attach things to my shell for camouflage so nobody can see me. Especially sharks. That radar dish belongs on the octopod. The spyglass belongs to Quasi. And the bandages are pesos. I didn't know they belonged to anybody. I, I was just trying to blend in, that's all. I put them on, I take them off. It's no problem. Thank you. Uh, guess I have to find some new things to cover my shell. You know, there is something we can let you keep. This seaweed moustache will help you stay camouflaged. <laughs> Thanks. A gift to you from the Octonauts. Yeah! <laughs> The radar's fixed. Good work, Twig. Thanks, Cap. I made one other little change out here. <laughs> <laughs> the Octonauts and the Albino Humpback Whale. Captain. 
Captain, there's... outside. I saw a... <gasps> What's all the commotion about? There's something out there. Something big. Really big. I saw it. It's huge. It's white. And it made a noise like... Jim, look at this. I managed to snap a picture of whatever's out there. That's it. That's what I saw. What on earth could it be? It's as big as a whale, but whales are usually dark greyish. Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak? If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Bye. Ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That scallywag must be around here somewhere. Oh. This way. A fast. Strange heat patterns are coming from that pink-coloured reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. Then we'd better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. <gasps> ah! Oh! <sighs> There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> <gasps> this is no reef. <laughs> Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. <laughs> what? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're gonna need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, 
Mushroom coral mucus. Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino? It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. We have to hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh. Looks like we've got company. A school of squid. We'll go around them. At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them. What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two, three! Hey! Uh, nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonauts. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more, and finished. Huh, a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Oh, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it's working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect! The Octonauts and the Mixed Up Whales. Doesn't sound good. Captain Barnacles, you'd better come down to the engine room. So, what's the problem, Tweak? The octopod sounds like she needs an emergency cleanup and repair cap. If we don't get working on it right away, she'll fall apart. Octonauts, we need all hands on deck. The octopod needs cleaning and repairing. Yeah. 
cleaning? Captain, do you really need me to come back for just a little cleaning? Yow! What's making that scurvy noise? The octopod, Quasi. We need everyone to help get a ship shape again. Over and out. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! <laughs> what was that? A wandering whirlpool? Sorry. Huh? Uh, didn't mean to cause you any trouble. You almost sucked me gut. Um, matey, did you know you're floating upside down? I am? Oh, dear. One minute I'm swimming with my friend and the next I'm lost and I can't find her anywhere. I I'd better flip back over. Hold on a minute. Let me just... Whoa! Shiver me whiskers! Oops. Oh, sorry. Very sorry. Oh, I'm so confused. Something's wrong with my sonar. Sonar? Sonar is my way of working out where things are. When I'm looking for something, I send out sound waves to help me find it. I'll just be on my way now. Must find my friend. We always swim together. Uh, I don't know where she is. That's one big mixed up whale. We'll have to get started on repairs to the octopod without Quasi. Tweak. Well, the arms need to be welded, the screws need to be tightened, the floors need to be vacuumed, the dents need to be banged out, the windows need to be cleaned, and the water tanks need to be flushed. And the joints need oiling. So, Octonauts, let's do this. Sounds like my friend is using her sonar to find me. Well, oh, that's not a whale. That's the octopod. Hey, wait a minute. You don't want to go that way. This way. No. Whoa. She must be that way. Wait! Wait! Ooh, that sounds like my friend. Where are you? Now for the biggest job of all. The water tanks have to be flushed out and then refilled. Here we go. Oh. Do you need some help? <laughs> there you go. That's better. Thanks for the muscle, Captain. Oh, dear. Now my friend sounds as if she's in trouble. I've got to help her. Don't worry. Uh, I'm on my uh, way. Uh, I think all the noise from the octopod is confusing my gigantic whale friend. Hey, big fella! Um, Captain, the radar shows that something's heading towards the octopod. Something big and fast. It looks like it's gonna hit us. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a big blue whale, Captain. 
A blue whale? Blue whales are the biggest animals that have ever lived, Captain. It would be a disaster if one of them hit us. Quasi, you've got to stop him. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. But all of this noise is... Um, Captain, I think we have another problem. There's something else coming towards us from the other direction. It must be the blue whale's friend. If they hit the octopod, they're going to hurt themselves and us. Hmm. Blue whales are big, but gentle. Why would they head straight for us? Oh, dear, it's difficult to think with all this noise. Noise? Professor, do you think? Yes, of course. Whales use sonar, that's sound waves, to find out where they're going, to steer around rocks, and to talk to each other. So, our noise is messing with their sonar. The sounds we're making must be confusing the whales. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I've been trying to tell you. Attention, octonauts. Stop working at once. We need absolute silence. Let's check the radar. Have the whales stopped? No, Captain. They're still heading straight for us. Tweak! Oh, I better stop her. It's all gone quiet. Steady. Oh. Oh. Phew. That was close. Oh, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was trying to find you too. Wales. I'm afraid your mixed-up day has been our fault. Aye, the sounds from the octopod messed with your sonar. So that's why I kept getting lost and confused. Not to worry. Your noise did finally bring us both together. But in the future, I hope there are no more mix-ups like this one. Next time, we'll check the radar for whales before we do any banging or clanging. Sounds like a plan, Captain. And you, you may be small. Small? Me? Only next to you. But you were a big help to us. Thank you. Yeah, Just doing me job, matey. Now, let's check that the octopod is fixed. Hooray! So, it looks like I missed all the cleaning, eh, Captain? Uh, actually, we're not quite done. What? It would be a big help if you could do a little mopping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>